Welcome back to PSN News. I'm Paloma Front, and with me tonight have Katarina Schiff, the Vice President of Panhellenic Council, and Corey Linden, the Vice President of Community Relations for the Inner Fraternity Council here at Penn State. Katarina and Corey, thank you so much for coming um, here tonight. Thank you for having yeah, us. Thanks for having us. So tell me a little bit about what are your roles? So my primary role at Greek Week is to um, promote cross-council and cross-chapter collaboration getting all four representatives of all four councils to um, just communicate and plan and execute these events that we have planned this week. Awesome. Uh, yeah, my role is pretty similar to Kat. Um, work with her, try to get everyone involved, uh, collaborate with all four councils, primarily try to get IFC involvement within mm -hmm. my own community and make sure everyone's aware of the events we're having and feels included. So I know we just, you just tapped into this, but overall, you know, what is the goal and the mission of Greek Week and when is it this year? Yeah, so Greek Week started off today and it lasts through Friday, and it just consists of all making the campus aware that we do have four count, four Greek councils here on campus, consisting of the Panhellenic Council, Interfraternity, Multicultural Greek, and National Panhellenic Council. And the purpose of this week is just to um, celebrate the accomplishments that all Greek um, members do throughout the year, and just to get together and celebrate the end of the year and end of the semester, and um, community unity, and just welcome everyone, and Maybe even invite, you know, have future members come out and see what we're a part of and how they be, can, can, can join. So That's awesome. And, you know, this has been happening for so long. How are you preparing any differently this, this year, if you are? And, you know, what can we expect yeah, um, this so coming week? I definitely learned a lot from the, chat, from the chair before me. I reached out to her a bunch. But this year, coming back from, like, the coronavirus and just weather delays and everything for the past few years, we're really just looking to upgrade all of our events on like a larger scale to reach more people right. and just have more people like get something out of the events. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. So the point this year is kind of go back to full force since Corona happened because it was distant for two years and mm -hmm. wasn't in full effect. And then this year, things like getting street closures for having full activities, having some off campus, some on campus, right. such as Old Main Lawn or the Hub Lawn. And then we closed off streets downtown at Fairmount and like Locust Lane for house to come out in their front yard in the street and just hang out and get to know their neighbors, but also get to know other members of the community and as well as other three councils. Awesome. So, you know, things being differently, a little bit different this year, what advice do you have for someone that wants to get involved and participate and how can they get involved? Yeah, so although it's celebrating the accomplishments of the Greek community specifically, we are encouraging um, the greater Penn State, all the Penn State students and the greater state college community to come out and just partake, partake in all the activities we have. Um, we just want everyone to meet new people and learn from each other and realize that we're all like, we all have Greek life in common as well as Penn State. Yeah, and so we have all our events posted on the Greek Week Instagram as well as each council's Instagram. Um, you can reach out to anyone through there or look at the pages and anyone's welcome to show up to the events, hang out, have some food, meet some new people, ask any questions they want as a potential new member or just a friend of a friend. Um, we really want anyone to come, anyone to feel welcomed. Um, the community isn't just the Greek, it's everyone involved, and we want everyone to feel a part of it, especially like the neighbors and the students and the faculty. So. so you guys seem so, you know, you guys are obviously very passionate about this. What made you go for these positions, you know, to start with? So last, last year I was on my chapter's executive board, and I planned events with other uh, Panhellenic chapters, so I really was excited to plan events with not only Panhellenic chapters this year, but IFC chapters, MTC chapters, all the other councils. Similar to Kat, I was on my um, executive board for my chapter, and someone in my chapter was in my previous position. I was able to attend his events and see how rewarding they are and interact directly with the community and give back, and that's exactly what I wanted to do, and I do want to make an impact on Penn State and the community and show all the great benefits to Greek life. So, And in the past you know, few years, Greek life has changed across the nation. Do you see a difference here at Penn State, especially in you know, participation in Greek Week or anything as such, but do you see a difference? How has it evolved in the past few years? I think definitely um, Greek life is always evolving for the better. We're always trying to push our chapters to become more involved in like philanthrop philanthropic, mm -hmm. ph philanthropic <laughs> efforts and like thon and everything through that, not just the Greek community, but affecting the greater community. And I know we always have like more work to do and just get to know everyone that we can benefit from. Yeah, and I think this has allowed us um, a positive inclined to have everyone um, informed, work together and be united because we're all here for one reason, because we, cause we like supporting the Greek community mm -hmm. and we want to show obviously the good things and there's more than, there's so many things that we can do to help each other 
while we're here than just inside our chapters, but outside, and we can leave a better mark for the university. And so I think there's been definitely a great, um, strong, positive incline with the Greek community here and not just, just, not just around the country. So I love that. And, you know, how long have you guys had these positions for? We got elected in October, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so you have it for a year. Yes. Yeah, do you get yeah. reelected after, or do you then go for a different position? Um, we're both juniors, so I believe we won't get reelected. Oh. But we could run for another one. Yeah, and we most times, to. people that go off the board will mentor someone that's in their former role, and awesome. a lot of us like to try to stay involved, and because we're not just here because we want it for the title, we want to be involved, we want to make an impact, and it's really mm -hmm. fulfilling. So. Definitely. I was, and if it being so fulfilling, you know, what is your favorite memory, I guess, from Greek Week? Um, you know, what has been kind of your biggest reward from your experience? I mean, so far, I've really just liked getting to know Corey and all the other executive board members. Um, there's a lot to learn from all these experiences, whether it's event planning or just collaborating with others. Yeah, I think collaborating with other four councils um, and also hearing feedback from neighbors saying we're happy this is back. This is something that we used to participate in. And I'm happy that, you know, it's back here and we can also contribute and be a part of it and feel part of the Greek community, so. Do you guys work with, you know, Greek communities at other universities as well, or is it kind of focused in Penn State? We mostly focus within Penn State, but a lot of what other Big Ten schools do and how they police the universities and police the Greek community, we look at and we have um, collaborations with, but mostly we govern ourselves and go off past and the future um, ambitions. We did attend um, a leadership conference in Indianapolis awesome. um, when we were both newly elected. So we did get to see other Big Ten schools as, as well as other colleges across the country that we got to um, bounce ideas off of. That's fantastic. You guys are doing such a great job. I mean, I'm in Greek life, so I've been hearing all about it. So I'm super excited to participate in this week's events. But, you know, just thank you so much for coming in. And um, up next, we're going to have Brendan and Hannah. They're going to bring you the latest news across the nation. Stay tuned.